I'm Isabel and I'm Head of Digital Workspace Solutions here at Damson Cloud. I facilitate a lot of meetings and workshops online and here's a few things that I've learned. Firstly, plan. Just like facilitating meetings or workshops in person, planning is crucial. Um, you need to know what you want to achieve and you need to know how you're going to do it. And I find that having quite a detailed plan and sometimes even a script for what I want to achieve allows me to go off script and off plan, but keep on top of the overall goals. Where I can, it's helpful to know my participants in advance. So sometimes that might mean setting up individual phone calls with people so that I can check in with them, start to put them at ease, and also get an idea of their setup if we're working off video. It's helpful to know who's likely to speak up very quickly and who's likely to know a bit more encouragement. Um, and also to get an idea of what everyone's agenda is so that I can make sure that we achieve what we're trying to achieve. It can be useful to establish etiquette in advance. So are you expecting people to have their cameras on or is it okay that they're off? Um, how is people's lighting? If someone's working on a dual screen setup and their camera is on one screen and they're looking at everyone on the other screen, it can be really distracting. And that's something that you can be clear about in advance and ask people. At the beginning of the meeting, don't be shy about asking people to adjust their setup so that you can see their face. Allow time for check-in. That time at the beginning of a meeting, while it can feel like it's taking up quite a bit of the time that you have allocated, is really important. If your participants are comfortable talking to each other, they're more likely to share and you're more likely to have a productive meeting. Give everyone a voice. Now, obviously this depends on the size of your meeting. If you have 60 people in a meeting, it can be quite hard to hear from them all. But for smaller group meetings, what I like to do is have a list of participants' names, either prepared in advance or one that I jot down at the beginning in the introductions. Then I can make sure that everyone has had a chance to speak, not necessarily by calling on people at every round or every opportunity, but if I can see that someone hasn't said anything in the meeting, maybe they're looking for permission to do that so I can ask them. Allow thinking time. Again, just like in-person meetings, sometimes some people will be ready to speak straight away and other people need a bit of thinking time. So you can make ways, find ways to create that. Um, sometimes you can use the chat. So I ask people to have a think for a minute or so in silence or to put their suggestions in a chat before they vocalize them out loud, before they say them out loud. And then finally, mix it up. Use breakout rooms, use the tools that you have there, use the chat, work off a shared document. Shared documents are great for getting a record of the meeting and meaning that you don't have to be the person taking all the notes down. If it can be a collaborative effort to keep the notes, you capture a lot more data and it can be a lot more useful. You can also use have discussions where people don't have their cameras on. So to change things up a little bit, audio only discussions can be a, a great break and allow people to just move around, make themselves more comfortable. Now we're moving into a, a hybrid situation where you may have some people in your meeting present in person and some who are calling in remotely. So still use the digital tools that you have available to you in this case. Having a flip chart or a whiteboard in the room for making notes is no good if half of the people in the meeting can't see it. Everything needs to be accessible for everyone who's there. Most importantly, to come back to my beginning point, know what you need to achieve. Keep track of your time, just like you would in real life, and you'll have a successful meeting online. Thanks very much.